Hello and welcome to this short overview of Impact. Over the next few minutes, we'll cover some of the key features of Impact and why it's a must-have addition to your VE simulation suite. So what is Impact? Impact is a new group of modules extending the virtual environments analysis capability to now include modules for analysis of capital cost, life cycle cost, and life cycle assessment or environmental impact. Using innovative techniques and benefiting from BIM, you can now access the benefits of these analyses more readily than otherwise today on any of your projects. So where did the impact come from? Impact was the result of a three-year part-funded technology strategy board project. Its key aim was to create a user-friendly interface to integrate life cycle assessment, life cycle costing, and capital cost analysis. It had to be BIM integrated, and it had to be able to be used every de design stage of your project. So whether it's at the early stage, at concept, or at the latter stages, at detailed design. Impact benefits from having the BRE as partners and adopting the BRE methodology. This allows compliance to the BRIAM assessment. And so you can actually attain BRIAM credits for your project by using Impact. Let's look at some of the key features of Impact. Impact benefits from being fully integrated into the virtual environment and BIM analysis suite. This means it can connect to any drawing package. You can bring your model in from whichever drawing package you're working on to carry out the impact assessment. Impact benefits from innovative navigational workflows within the virtual environment. These are set step-by-step -step processes to guide you through whichever assessment that you're undertaking. It also has Q&A features built in, allowing you to date and timestamp each step and you're able to write notes against each step as well. This really helps to make your modeling process much more transparent and also helps to reduce the learning curve associated with this ana analysis. So why carry out this analysis within the virtual environment and impact? Well, one of the key benefits is, is the ability to be able to automatically extract information from your 3D model. So rather than having to find quantities by quantities takeoff or by a bill of quantities, you're able to attach an element code and extract automatically the rate from the model. For example, if you wanted to know the surface area of your external walls, you'd be able to select code 124 and then that would bring in the surface area automatically from your 3D model. That really does help to save time and produce much more accurate results. The virtual environment is a thermal modeling tool, but you're able to input all elements, including non-thermal elements, within impact. And it has innovative tools to do that. The impact data comes in the form of data sets, which users subscribe to on an annual basis. Once subscribed, these sit within the virtual environment software suite as a library, where you're able to drill into the data and attach to your project. One of the key reasons for using the impact tool is that it already benefits from having templates in place. You can choose from having a template at concept stage or detailed stage, depending on the stage of your current project. And there's also template categories for building type. So if it's a healthcare project or an education project, and this really does help to speed up the process. You're able to export all your data from your model and apply it to the next model. Imagine a scenario where maybe you've won a framework of maybe three schools and you undertake the full assessment on the first school, but knowing that you're going to use the same materials and techniques on the, the other two schools. Here, you're able to extract the data from the, from the impact plan from the first school and apply it to the geometries of the other two schools and instantly I get a much better idea of the cost and environmental impact of those buildings. The data sets which you subscribe to really are broken down into two elements. You've got constructions or elements. These are external walls, glazing systems, floors, and you have materials which are the sub-elements that make up an element. So for example, bricks, mortars, insulation. You can choose to have constructions for concept stage and then when you go into the much more detailed design stage of your project, you're able to 
create which, whichever bespoke uh, constructions from the extensive material database that's available to you. Impact benefits from having lots of great innovative reporting features. These are all built in and allows you to very quickly analyse where the greatest impacts are going to be within your project. You, of course, can export these to your own reporting formats if you wish. Another great benefit of impact is that it uses the BRE methodology. The BRE methodology for environmental impact or life cycle assessment is seen as being quite generous. With up to 13 characterised issues, it offers a much greater range uh, of assessments of materials and products than other types of methodology. And of course, with the BRE methodology, it allows for compliance with the BREAM assessments. So whether you're carrying out a BREAM assessment in the UK or somewhere else in the world uh, on the international scheme, you're able to achieve up to six credits, both for materials and for life cycle cost. Impact is truly integrated into the virtual environment uh, software suite, allowing you to carry out capital cost analysis, life cycle cost analysis and life cycle assessment. And that's over and above all the other kind of building performance uh, metrics you're able to undertake as well, such as energy, solar shading, lighting, fire evacuation, natural ventilation, BREAM, LEED, etc.